In pacing, I talked about stopping at 70%. And a lot of people will say to me, and do say to me, yeah, but Phil, that's easy to say, but hard to do. And I agree, it is. And we don't have a dial in our heads that says you're at 70%. Now, you're not going to do it for everything, but maybe there are some tasks in life that are really important. Sometimes they, these are called the, the activities of daily living. It'd be things like sitting, standing, walking, housework, things like ironing, washing up, all of that stuff. And for some of these key things, it's useful to have something called a baseline. And a baseline is something you can use in two ways. One, you can use it to cope with and manage what you're doing on a daily basis. And the other one is you can actually use it at that level, but then actually use it as a tool to get fitter and to do more despite pain. So a baseline is a kind of a goal setting tool Again, it's not rocket science. When I first came across it, I thought it was a bit too simple to be useful, but it's proved to be very powerful. And I found really powerful for people who perhaps often don't get a lot of the other things. So a baseline is basically an amount that you do of something that you measure by time or distance. The, pro the reason that's relevant is because a lot of people have pain as their guide. With the baseline, we're changing the guide to being an objective thing, time or distance. So a good example would be, um, rather than walking, there's a guy I worked with once and he used to walk until he literally dropped. So he kept walking until the pain stopped him. And on his walk, he would just keep going and keep thinking, I wonder how much longer I can go before the pain stops me. That meant he, every time he went for a walk, he did as much as he could until he couldn't. The baseline approach would be to say, keep walking until you still can walk. And with him, what I did was, um, we, we looked at using an objective measure, and for him it was lamppost, so it was, um, was he one lamppost and back five times a day doesn't sound much but he stuck to that and the idea was that on a difficult on a day when it was easy which sometimes it would be he stuck to that distance and on a day when it was slightly harder he still stuck to that distance and on a day when it was impossible he just didn't even try and the key thing with that was that that meant that every time he went for a walk he actually finished within his capability. And with time, the amount he could do slowly increased. So instead of booming and busting, like I explained earlier with the pacing thing, what he was doing was he was doing what he could do and then doing it again the next day and then again the next day. And then with time, he gained in confidence, his nervous system started to relax. In the thing about chronic pain, I mentioned how the volume gets turned up. Well, if you keep doing the same thing consistently, the nervous system learns, oh, it's okay when he goes for a walk, we can relax. So the volume gets turned down. And so the amount he could walk gradually increased over the months. So that's a classic one for rebuilding fitness. Um, but the other use is another gentleman I worked with, his um, pain meant that every time he stood up, he was in pain. And so what we looked at was, well, how long can you stand up for that's realistic? And it seems with pacing and baselines, it seems to be 20 minutes seems to be the, the magical time. And this is just my experience. But what he did was every time he stood up, he looked at his watch, 20 minutes, and then he knew that in 20 minutes, he was definitely gonna sit down, whatever happened. And he was gonna plan to that and do things in a way such that he could sit down in 20 minutes time. Now, I don't know if it helped with his pain, but what it definitely did was it helped with his ability to cope. And that meant he could cope and plan. And as a result of doing this 20 minute thing, he rebuilt a greenhouse in his garden in 20 minute chunks with a chair in the garden. Uh, and that's something that had been eluding him for years. So there's two sides of 
baselines. One is using a baseline to gradually increase what you do. The other one is using a baseline as a guide, time or distance, so that you can cope and break the world up into manageable chunks. Thank you.